resuming debate, the Honorable Member for Surrey North. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I rise today to speak to Bill C-19, a bill that, if it passed, will mean the abolishment of the Long Gun Registry. As an opposition critic for public safety, as a representative for a community where gang and gun-related violence is a reality, we've had four murders in the last month alone. I'm fiercely opposed to this bill. Abolishing the Long Gun Registry is a mistake, and I fear the impact on public safety that this mistake will have. The most saddening part about this mot motivation to kill the registry on part of this government is entirely political. It has nothing to do with public safety. Instead, it has to do with a reckless conservative agenda on crime that will cripple our criminal justice system and cost taxpayers billions and billions, all just to divide Canadians and, of course, score some cheap points along the way. It has nothing to do with the facts. But sadly, facts are rarely a concern with this government, especially when it comes to public safety. Last week, in the Senate committee hearing on Bill C-10, the Omnibus Crime Bill, the Public Safety Minister told senators to ignore the facts when it comes to public safety. He's, here's, here's what he said. I don't know if the statistics demonstrate that crime is down. I'm focused on danger." End quote. His statement, which seems completely observed to most Canadians, pretty much summarizes this government's approach on crime. Their plan, as far as I can see, is to scare you, scare Canadians, and then spend billions on policies that won't actually make your communities any safer. All the while convincing you that all of this somehow makes them tough. I know, Madam Speaker, my, my friends don't believe in facts, but I'm going to try giving some to them anyways. So here are some facts about Long Gun Registry. The Minister and his colleagues on that, that side of the House are ignoring. Madam Speaker, on average, one in three women killed in their, by their husbands are shot. 88% of those women are killed with legally owned rifles and shotguns. Since the introduction of gun registry, gun-related spousal homicides are down 50%. These are the facts. Rifles and shotguns are guns most often used in suicides, particularly those invol involving youth. These have decreased by 64% in nine years from 328, 329 in 1995 to 121 in 2005, with no evidence of substitution with other methods. Other guns, long guns have killed ten, uh, 10 out of 13 police officers in the past 10 years. And again, that, that is from the 2010 RCMP evaluation of the Canadian Firearms Program. They're also ignoring the Canadian Association of Chiefs of Police who have told them again and again and again that the registry saves officers' lives and that cancelling them will hinder their ability to solve crimes. They are ignoring the RCMP that has consistent, consistently defended its usefulness to, as an investigation tool. Madam Speaker, they are ignoring victims groups that have spoken out in support of the gun registry and we heard many, many victims group in the committee stage. Madam Speaker, the registry isn't perfect. That is why the New Democrats have been saying for many years that we need to find a way to address the problems with the gun registry while strengthening gun controls in this country. Our position is clear, Madam Speaker. We want to see the legitimate concerns of rural Canadians, Aboriginal, addressed while ensuring that police have the tools they need to keep our communities a safer place. We want to bring Canadians together, find solutions, 
instead of playing games with wedge issue politics like the Conservatives are doing. Madam Speaker, the NDP put forward a number of suggestions to address problems with the registry while maintaining its value as a public safety tool. But the, cons but the Conservatives refused to consider those solutions. And not only they are going to end the gun registry, but just to prove a juvenile point, the government is also going to destroy the existing gun registry data. The money has already been spent. We've heard about it. It was $2 billion that my friends spent over the years. The money has already been spent to gather this information. It makes no sense to simply destroy it if there are police officers, provinces that want to use it to enhance public safety. Mr. Speaker, destroying existing information in the registry won't bring back the money that has already been spent. Why is this government going to effectively burn billions of dollars of data Canadian taxpayers have already paid for when the provinces and police are telling us that this, it has, the, the data has a public safety value? Madam Speaker, to me, it doesn't make sense. Mr. Speaker, it doesn't make sense. What makes sense to me is to fix the registry so it works for all Canadians. It works for rural Canadians. It works for Aboriginal. It works for uh, urban Canadians. So it works for all of the Canadians. What makes sense to me is to give the police the tools they need. What makes sense to me is to adopt improvement that new Democrats have proposed uh, to strengthen the gun registry. What makes sense to me, is to, to me is to ensure that the semi-automatic weapons like the Ruger Mini 14 used by Andres Brusevic in the recent Norway shootings and by Mark Levine in Montreal massacre in 1989 cannot be classified the same way as hunting and sporting shooting guns and to close loopholes around firearm, firearm importation that have led to guns ending up on, in the black market. Mr. Speaker, what makes sense to me is to stop gun violence in this country using every possible tool that we have. That we have. What makes sense to me is to, what makes sense is to save lives. Mr. Speaker, like Jack Layton said, stopping gun violence has been a priority for rural and urban Canadians. There's no good reason why we can't, we shouldn't be able to sit down with goodwill and open minds, there's no good reason why we shouldn't be able to build a solution that brings us together. There's no good reason why we can't rise above the political games, fix this registry, make Canada a safer place for everyone. My family, your family, families across this country. Mr. Speaker, I urge my Conservative colleagues to vote against this bill so that we can fix this, work with the NDP, so that we can fix it, that we can have a safer communities. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.